I just, I just want to, I'm a freshman, I'm new learning all this, I just want to understand the process of what we're doing here. You're, on an hour's notice, you're asking us to vote on $2.6 billion worth of funding. And for those who have been in our preparation committee, I don't know which ones you serve on. These are topics which we've been discussing since the uh, governor introduced his proposed budget uh, some months ago. Well, I understand that those are, those are topics for your committee, which it seems like that's why it would make sense for the people that are in that committee to vote on it. I am not in that committee, and you're asking me, a freshman, to vote on $2.6 billion worth of spending with an hour's notice. Is that not correct? I think, you know, all of us end up voting on the entire budget and all the revenue sources and the pension and local government distributive. That is, that is what we are called upon to do when we come no, here. I understand that. I'm hoping to have more than an hour to review the budget. So I'm asking, is it correct that you've given us about an hour to review $2.6 billion worth of spending? I don't know. I think several hours have passed now, and as we get closer to May 31st, you know, the one thing we'll find, you know, all of us who have been here, that as the clock ticks closer to May 31st, any number of issues come upon us very quickly, and we're all called upon, you know, to look at these items and evaluate them very, uh, very rapidly. You know, I'd, I'd actually like to address the gallery here because you, you're saying this is open, transparent. I'd like the people in the gallery to raise their hand to let me know if they think voting for $2.6 billion of spending with an hour or two hours notice is a good idea. Please raise your hand in the gallery if you think that's a good idea. You know what, there's, there's room on the other side of the aisle for you. Welcome to the Illinois Legislature. One person. The reason... The, the, the reason I rose and I wanted to speak earlier, this is sad. I'm disappointed as a freshman because I've tried whenever I've could to find solutions to the issues that we face in this state. Ways to provide better services, maybe more efficiently. There's a million articles about, about the waste in this state. And here we're just being thrown $2.6 billion worth of spending with, with an hour to review it. I mean, it almost brought me to tears when I find out that this is the way the state operates. The reason I rose, you mentioned about the growing homeless population. The reason things are bad in this state is because this is the way we've been operating as a state the last decade or, or so. And maybe if we improve the way we operate together in a bipartisan way, we'd have better solutions. Maybe we would have less homeless. Maybe we would have more people working. Maybe we wouldn't have so many jobs leaving the state. This is not the way a functioning state operates.